As the phrase goes, nice guys always finish last. And if you consider yourself a nice guy, then this video will help you avoid struggling in relationships and use your qualities and strengths to your advantage. It's not a case of being nice is wrong specifically, or that you should be a bad guy or bad boy. The key is finding a balance, whereby you're a decent person, but at the same time, still your own person as well. Therefore, let's look at 5 things nice guys always do wrong and should avoid. Number 1. Nice guys don't say no. This isn't exclusive to nice guys, but is something a lot of people make a mistake on in general, when in a relationship or in other environments. If someone approaches you and asks you for something, which you know you can't fulfil in that given time, then don't be afraid to say no on occasion and explain why. The thing is, by saying yes all of the time, you're inherently saying no to something else, something that might be important and needs your attention. Likewise, saying yes may see you in a position not to fulfil the commitment you agreed to, which will actually work against you in how others perceive you. So say no if you need to, because doing so is actually more respectable than always saying yes. Number 2. Nice guys avoid confrontation. Let's just be clear from the offset, I'm not saying you should constantly be getting into fights to try and stand up for yourself. Rather, what I'm saying is if you don't agree with someone or something, then don't be afraid to say so, albeit it's important to articulate and frame it in a way that's encouraging debate rather than arguing. Many nice guys are afraid to do this, not wanting confrontation because to them it might appear as a source of contention and might strain the relationship. However, done properly it works in the opposite way, as people respect those who can stand up for themselves and have the courage to share their thoughts even if it isn't in agreement with what they personally might think. Number 3. Nice guys don't put themselves first. Again, this isn't about being selfish, confrontational or difficult, but rather it's about giving the best of yourself to those you care for, by first and foremost looking after yourself. If you have aspirations and goals, then don't be afraid to make these a priority when you dedicate your time to them, as having ambitions in life is a hugely admirable and attractive quality. This means going back to saying no when you need to, as you have to do something that either helps progress towards a goal, or you've made commitments at the same time and therefore can't be with your partner during that time. There might be times you're in a relationship with someone who doesn't like you saying no like this, but the fact is, if they want a relationship with you, then they need to respect you as an individual who has to tend to other aspects of their lives. Number 4. Nice guys seek approval. One problem that a lot of people have is they constantly seek approval of others in life and this makes them miserable, and unfortunately it's also the case with many nice guys. People don't necessarily want to be with people who will always agree with them and their opinions, just as in business the yes man or woman is often derided as weak. The reason is that seeking approval shows a lack of self confidence, which is a highly unattractive quality and not only makes you look weak, but also means you have little of value to offer. People want someone who helps make them feel better about themselves, someone who is intellectually challenging and interesting, and at the same time, helps them feel a more complete individual, which isn't possible when you always seek validation yourself. Number 5. Nice guys don't take the lead. People respect those who are strong enough to take responsibility and take the lead when the situation calls on it, as it shows strength and courage as well as a great deal of confidence. Many nice guys are afraid of doing this, because as we've previously covered, they seek validation, they're afraid of saying no, or they want to avoid confrontation. The fact is, you need to take ownership of your life, and people will respect you doing so. If you go on a date, acknowledge it as a date. If you have something to say that you think is worth sharing, then say it. The point, 
And the lesson to take from this video is that I'm not saying to stop being a nice person, or be a good guy because it's an attractive quality, but don't let that mean you aren't true to yourself, your beliefs, your values, and most importantly, your autonomy as an individual. Do you see yourself as a nice guy or have been with one? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.